Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Bites. I wanted to show you guys how to make this simple and quick autumn salad. So let's get started with the recipe, but I did want to mention if you want more protein, you can always add some boiled eggs here or chicken or whatever your heart desires. I like to start off by toasting about three quarters cup of pecans. You can omit this step, of course, or you can toast them in the pan like I did, or even stick them in the oven and roast them. Um, in the pan, they only take about two to three minutes on medium to medium high heat. Next up, we're gonna chop up a large head of romaine lettuce, and you can use your salad spinner, but personally, I cannot stand washing those things. For some reason, they are just not easy to wash. So I almost never use mine. I either buy the pre-cut store-bought salad kits, or I wash the entire head of romaine lettuce first, and then blot it with some paper towel, and then just chop it up, and it's ready to go. I also like to throw in a handful of arugula here, which of course is optional. And keep in mind, you can use any type of lettuce that you prefer. We'll also wash and thinly slice about two to three radishes. We're also going to peel and slice about an eighth of a red onion. It depends on how big your onion is and how much you want in your salad. And if you guys end up trying the salad, please let me know in the comments below how you liked it and what type of dressing you put on it and if you switched anything around. Um, personally, my favorite part are the toasted pecans. They are so good on salad. And then we're gonna add our toasted pecans and about half a cup of feta cheese. And then grab a pear. I actually got a few pears for my mom because she has a pear tree and they are so good when they are fully ripe. They are just sweet and also crisp and kind of crunchy. Um, so you're gonna core that. You can peel it as well. I prefer to leave the peel on and we're gonna slice them thinly and add that to the salad as well. And I usually add more protein to my salads but when I'm in a quick rush like this and I don't have time to make chicken or boiled eggs or whatever, this is perfectly fine for me. I'm one of those weird people that is really not into condiments, so I'm not big on mustard or balsamic vinegar or ranch or blue cheese or anything like that. So this is almost always my go-to salad dressing. You're gonna need half a cup of extra virgin, good quality olive oil. So make sure it's not just any plain old cheap olive oil. It's a good extra virgin olive oil because that makes a big, big difference. And then squeeze one whole lemon in there. And you're also gonna peel one garlic clove and press it in there and add in one quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And just mix that together or shake it up, whatever method you use. And it is gonna be so good on top of that salad. But of course, you can always use what you prefer because I'm the weird picky one here. So hey, if you don't like condiments, you're like me, let me know in the comments below and join the weird club because people tell me all the time it's the strangest thing ever. But that is the salad dressing I go with and I think it goes perfectly with the salad. And this is a pretty decent sized salad. So if you're making it just for yourself, be sure to set aside some of it before you pour the dressing on top. I hope you love the recipe. Let me know if you give it a try and I will see you guys next week with another recipe video. Bye.